sequences is infinite versus finite sequences. So, so far, uh, all these sequences are finite sequences. That means you have some expression for the nth term. It doesn't have to equal zero, start at zero, but starts at zero, ends at, I've been using capital N for the end value. So finite sequences have basically, in this case, n, big N plus one uh, terms, but they have finite terms. A finite number of terms. Now, infinite sequence is pretty much exactly the same as this, uh, except there's infinite terms. So an infinite sequence, uh, and of course n is a positive real uh, positive integer. And infinite is usually going to start at zero, but we're going to use infinity as the uh, last index value. What that means, it goes on forever. So this has infinite number of terms. So how do you see infinite sequences written out? So we're gonna write in sequence notation. Uh, take the example we looked at before. I think this is the first one in this section. And I made the signs. No. Oh, maybe it's negative what it should be. That's all right, this will work. So to denote an infinite sequence, you just have three dots at the end. And that means it does not have a final term, it keeps going. So that right here means it keeps going. All right, so what can we write this as? It's almost the same exact as before. I have uh, the sign wrong, but that's okay. This goes from uh, this goes up by two each time. So we have a plus two, plus two. So I'm going to get two as positive two as my uh, how much we're going to go up each time, and then our initial term is plus negative three. Now, of course, you can write that as minus three, no problem, two n minus three. And of course, we started this at zero, and at the end, we're gonna go to infinity. So why do we use these three dots? Sort of looks like infinity, but in English, it just means et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is just an extreme version, meaning et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, forever and ever and ever. All right, so that is infinite sequences.